Hi Aquarians, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 12th through the 18th. This is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. So Aquarius, for this reading I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck along with the Magical Times Empowerment cards. Okay, very interesting spread here, Aquarius. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Nine of Swords. So there is some mental energy here that some of you are dealing with. Um, this is a very specific reading. I might be only reading for a certain group of Aquarians. So if you can't resonate, please watch your other signs. Nine of Swords, mental energy. Thinking about something maybe too much. It could be a little consuming. Um, so maybe fearing the worst, maybe overthinking things, uh, you know, worrying about something so much that it's affecting your your sleep. So when, when I see the Nine of Swords, I know that you need to take extra good care of yourself here this week, Aquarius. So just, you know, make sure that you're getting enough rest. Try not to overly think about something. You know, if something is bothering you or on your mind, doing things that, you know, distract you, that keep you busy, that take your mind off of whatever this is. Um, with the two of rods as the overall energy, you know, your focus is on the future. So I'm not sure if some of you are worried about the future, worried about maybe something that's going to happen. But with the two of rods, you know, your focus needs to be on the future, making plans for the future. Because, you know, you can see here how he's holding the world in his hands, or his hand. He has, uh, you know, unlimited possibil possibilities that are in front of him. So whatever it is that you want, you can make it happen here. Just really needing to stay positive, you know, needing to plan things out, you know, and really needing to stay focused on the future and your dreams, your goals, you know, what it is that you want but I think that some of you are maybe worried about something here. It's it's quite interesting. Um, we're starting out with the Three of Swords. And so because we have the Three of Swords with the Hanged Man, which the Hanged Man can be that you know period of suspense, that limbo period, maybe some of you are waiting on a decision, waiting on something, and it's going to benefit your future in some way, but there's this like maybe temporary wait or this limbo period. This can be you just feeling disappointed. Um, it can be like severe disappointment, mental frustration. I think that some of you, you know, you're maybe thinking the worst when it comes to something. This definitely is a, like a little bit more of a pessimistic energy that's here for some of you. I feel like some of you, because you're maybe waiting, you know, we have this disappointment here. But I feel like, you know, sometimes things take time. You know, I feel like some of you are definitely dealing with some divine timing here. And patience is, is, is what's needed at this time. It's a time to plan and... It's really a time to stay focused on what it is that you want and not get hung up on, you know, the negative side of things. Um, I feel like some of you could be dealing with delays, whatever it may be. And this is just disappointment here. This is some mental energy that you have to overcome. With the Three of Swords, it's certainly not always just loss and heartache. Um, it can be, but it's not always. It's it's a swords card. It's mental energy here. I feel like some of you, there's something in your life that you're waiting on, and there's a lot of disappointment around this because maybe it hasn't come through yet. But that just means it hasn't come through yet. It doesn't mean it's not coming through. With the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, for some of you, it's definitely financial in nature. It can be, you know, it could be career related. Uh, for those of you that don't work for a living, family related, it could have something to do with a home as well, or even a child. Uh, you know, what it is that you're waiting on, it, I feel like it's on its way. It's a time to plan for this. It's a time to get ready. Um, here, you will receive with the Six of Pentacles that support, that help, that assistance, you know, whatever it is, this opportunity, you will receive this opportunity or this help, um, it will come through for you. So really needing to change, you know, how you how you see things, Aquarius. Um, 
with the page of pentacles six of pentacles there's some sort of opportunity or news that's coming in for you and you know maybe there's this disappointment here because maybe you have your heart set on this with the four of cups it's it's emotional energy it's emotionally you not being happy with the status quo or the way that something is wanting so much more for yourself and then with the five of pentacles you know feeling a lack within your life it could be a lack financially it could be a lack of financial security you know it's just a lack with this combination you're not happy with something in your life and so i think that that's why you're trying to make this great change some of you focused on moving forward you know, in a, in a new direction here. And that's really good. Needing to stay focused, though. Stay focused on your goal. Maybe some of you, you know, you feel this lack financially or this lack of security. Maybe, you know, maybe this, you know, there's a lack when it comes to, you know, the company that you work for. Maybe you don't feel too secure there. It could be something like that. Maybe you feel overworked, underpaid. It could be something like that. You're not happy with something here. And so I think that you're waiting on some sort of opportunity to come in with the Page of Pentacles and then the Knight of Cups. But it's something your heart is set on. It's something, something that's going to bring in that emotional fulfillment but it's on its way it's coming and this is just a temporary wait this is just a temporary wait and again it's a time to plan you will be moving forward you will be moving out of this energy eight of cups preparing to move forward gearing up getting ready to move forward emotionally you know prepared and ready to move on and move forward in some way so for some of you it could be leaving a company could be moving towards some sort of new opportunity here could even be on the love front moving towards some sort of opportunity here but really you know don't stress about this and you know we can see there's a lot of minor arcanas here you only have one major arcana so a lot of this energy can be changed. Not all of you Aquarians are going to experience this energy. Um, that's why I mentioned watch your other your other signs. Um, but let's pull you let's pull you an additional guidance card. You know if it, you know there could even be a small number of you that. A small number of you that maybe you're not happy in a relationship uh, some of you there could be something lacking within a relationship so maybe you know maybe you're dating someone but you want to take it to the next level or maybe you want to get married whatever it may be some of you I, I just feel like you're not happy here you're not happy in a situation something is lacking And, you know, here with the two of rods in this position, you are figuring out what your next move is going to be. You are thinking about the future. And some of you could be making a, a, an important decision here. Okay, very interesting. Wow, this resonates very much. We actually have sanctuary. Embrace the need for solitude. Your inner sanctuary calls you. Renew yourself and thrive. So some of you maybe need to create a sanctuary, you know, within your home or outside if it's warm. You know, some of you need a place that you can go to and spend some time alone, a place that, you know, makes you feel at peace, that relaxes you. Some of you definitely need some alone time here. Embrace the need for solitude. Your inner sanctuary calls you. Renew yourself and thrive. And, you know, with the Nine of Swords, if you've been staying up at night not getting enough sleep you know worried about something you know this is what's going to help you and interesting enough Aquarius when I just lifted up the nine of swords we have the star here which does represent your sign but it's also for me it's a very powerful healing and spiritual energy here so you're being guided to definitely um, you know take a break here you need a place that you can go to that you know just you know helps you relax and some of you definitely need to catch up on your sleep, okay? So I hope that you found this reading helpful, Aquarius. If you are not subscribed to me here on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading with me, please check out northeasttower.com. I wish you all a wonderful week.